GTX 1650 or the RTX A2000. If you need a low profile graphics card, these two are your best options. I bought this 1650 for brand new for £177. It's got 4 gigs of VRAM and it's a popular choice for budget gamers because it can run most things at 1080p just fine. But it's coming up to 4 years old now and it's really starting to show its age. The A2000 is more powerful but also more expensive. This particular one comes with 6GB of ECC VRAM. And technically speaking, this is a workstation card, but it runs games just fine. This specific card I bought for £289 used on eBay. The seller was very open with the fact that it was in a mining rig for about 8 months. Let's see how they do in some benchmarks. Overall, the A2000 seems to get around about 60% more performance than the 1650, but as soon as you turn on DLSS, that goes up to around about 100% in some games, and the 1650 does not have DLSS, so bear that in mind before you make a purchase. But if you're only ever going to play in 1080p, the 1650 might be enough for you. So I hope with that you can make an informed decision, and if you want to pick up either graphics card, you can check out the links in the description. I'll see you in the next one.